Hello and welcome to SATE. This is a brief tutorial on installing and using the Global Protect VPN, mapping the SATE O drive, and accessing the Office 365 OneDrive. The Global Protect VPN is software which securely connects your computer to the servers at the SATE campus. It allows you to do a number of things, including accessing data stored on SATE network drives, such as the O drive, maintaining the licenses of specialized software required in some courses, and for students that have been provided SATE laptops, it also keeps your Windows and Office licenses active. To install the Global Protect VPN on a Windows computer, open a web browser and go to https colon slash slash portal.sate.ca. Log in with the username acdm backslash username, where the username is your SATE ID number without the leading zeros. The password is the same as your Office 365 password. By default, this is your birthday in year-year, month-month, day-day format, unless you have already changed it yourself. Download the Windows 64-bit Global Protect Agent. Run the downloaded software, clicking Next on each screen, and then click on Close to complete the installation. The Global Protect app will then pop up, asking you to enter a portal address. The address to use is portal.sate.ca. Sign in using the same username and password. To install the Global Protect VPN on a Mac, open a web browser and go to https colon slash slash portal.sate.ca. Log in with the username acdm backslash username where the username is your SATE ID number without the leading zeros. The password is the same as your Office 365 password. By default, this is your birthday in year-year, month-month, day-day format, unless you have previously changed it yourself. Download the Mac 32-64-bit Global Protect Agent. Run the downloaded software package clicking Continue on each selection screen, and then click on Install. Enter your Mac credentials and click on Install Software. If you get prompted to add Global Protect to the keychain, enter your keychain password and click Allow. The Global Protect app will then pop up, asking you to enter a portal address. The address to use is portal.sate.ca. Log in using the same username and password. A pop-up will open saying, System Extension Blocked. Click on Open Security Preferences. In the Security and Privacy window, click the lock icon in the lower left corner, enter your MAC password, and click on Unlock. Now click on Allow next to the alert about the Global Protect app being blocked. Then click on Allow in the pop-up, asking if Global Protect can filter your network content. To connect or disconnect the Global Protect VPN on a PC, click on the up arrow on the taskbar near the date and time display and look for the VPN icon. If it is disconnected, it will be a light gray ball. If it is connected, it will be a blue globe with a gray shield in front. Click on the icon and the connection window will pop up. Click on Connect or Disconnect as required. To connect or disconnect the Global Protect VPN on a Mac, find the Global Protect icon in the Status menu at the top of the screen. Click on the icon and select Connect or Disconnect as required. The O drive is a secure storage location on the servers at SATE. It is often used by instructors to provide a place that you can drop off assignments or to pick up or drop off other files. In order to access the O drive, 
you need to be connected to the Global Protect VPN or have your computer connected to the wireless SATE Secure Network while on the SATE campus. To map the O-Drive on a PC, start by connecting to the VPN. Open the File Explorer by holding down the Windows key and pressing E, or typing File Explorer in the search bar. In the left-hand column, right-click on This PC and click on Map Network Drive. Choose the drive letter O from the drop-down list. Check off Reconnect at Sign-In and connect using different credentials. Enter this address backslash backslash acdm.ds.sate.ca backslash root dfs into the folder field. Click on Finish. Check off Remember My Credentials and enter your credentials acdm backslash username where the username is your SATE ID number without the leading zeros and your computer password which is the same as your email password. By default, this is your birthday in year-year, month-month, day-day format, unless you have already changed it, and click on OK. To map the O-Drive on a Mac, start by connecting to the VPN. In the Finder, click on Go, and then click on Connect to Server to open the Connect to Server window. Enter the path SMB, colon slash slash acdm.ds.sate.ca slash root dfs. Click on the plus icon on the lower left corner of the window, then click on connect. Click on connect in the pop-up, then you will be asked to enter your credentials. acdm backslash username, where the username is your SATE ID number, without the leading zeros, and your computer password, which is the same as your email password. Check off Remember This Password in my keychain and click on Connect. OneDrive is part of your Office 365 software and provides you with one terabyte of secure cloud-based storage for your files. On a PC or Mac, you can access your OneDrive by logging on to Office 365 in a browser with your SATE email address and password. Then click on the cloud-shaped OneDrive icon on the left-hand side of the page. It is highly recommended to store all of your files in the OneDrive, as this is a secure, backed-up location and you are able to access your work from any other computer or mobile device, even if your own computer were to be damaged or stolen. To finish up this presentation, we wanted to make sure you had the main primary contacts for times when you need support. This slide contains the contact information for the ITS Service Desk, the Office of the Registrar, Facilities Management, Security, and the SATE Parking Office. Please, always include your ID number and a phone number in all emails you send for support. Thank you again, and welcome to SATE.